Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and today I'm going to get into a video on the AVAS shred deleted files. And as far as this goes, if you run a solid state drive, never use any of these things. But um, the problem with this, the shred deleted files, is if you cancel it early or like there's a power outage or something like that so it cancels early, then it will fill up your hard drive space easily. Now, as far as things goes, how does it work so you understand this? This is a map of my entire hard drive. Um, but uh, with me, I got a 2.7 terabytes hard drive. Well, the thing is, is how this works is it fills up all the free space with junk information. Then it deletes it and it does it over and over for how many passes you tell it to. The thing is, is the more... Um, size you have the fact of the matter is is the longer it takes for it to fill it up and to delete it and go through the passes for me i was sitting on it for maybe a week to a week and a half and um and the thing was up in the 95 range and because i had to update something or I had to shut down the computer for some reason uh the fact of the matter is is it kind of left everything on there and i had five gigabytes of free space left not even really enough to do anything with so with that um if if that happens to you ba basically uh and, and i'll get into how avas can fix this a little bit later but if that happens to you first off don't freak out or whatever um what you need to do is one of the following first things first is if you like if, if you got something like this size uh, with that, that amount of free space, um, I, I, I'll skip over this first part. But if you're only dealing with maybe 50 gigabytes of free space or something like that originally before all this stuff happened in the first place, well, what you need to do is go down to the settings, go down to components, go all the way down to data, and then go into custom and mark all these as one pass. And it, it's not going to, you know, make it secure but it's going to free up all that space in theory. So what you need to do is go ahead and do the shred delete files and go through that. Now that may or may not work in some cases, but uh, that's still worth a shot. If you're with the amount of space I'm talking about, it would just take too long. It's still worth a shot. You, you might got, you know, maybe a day or two. I, I cannot imagine how long it will take for a petabyte of information, a free space. But yeah, you, you, and also need to take a look at other programs like CC Cleaner. A lot of people have found that CC Cleaner has basically solved the problem into itself. Um, I, I personally found it's kind of solved it. It's freed up a crap ton of space, but with that one in mind, it um, it's still worth a look. Uh, now, CC Cleaner, I'm expecting that you already know how to get and whatever, so feel free to use Google. So last thing you can do is, if no, nothing else works, is you can manually delete them. The files are going base, basically like this, where it has this little symbol and then some numbers and whatever. Uh, take a look at the date and whatever, and notes that the files are all hidden, so you need to note that. If you don't know how to get to this stuff, then um, I, I'm going to just basically say that there's too much risk that you can wipe your computer or do something stupid. So I'm not going to show you how to get there. Sorry about my phone. But I'm not going to show you how to get there. But uh, if you know how to get there, then you should be fine. Just keep in mind on the built date as far as the um, when the thing was built and also the uh, file and, and the name of the file and whatnot. But deleting all that, it, it should be just fine. Notice that there is some setting. I forgot which one, but there is a setting on a vast that could potentially protect files, but I don't think it would for something like that. Now, with that one in mind, um, as far as that goes, there's a few other programs you can use, but personally, I think AVAS has dropped the ball on this. I ran into this problem personally, obviously, but I've searched it and I found a number of people have ran into this problem. We're talking about maybe 50 people, give or take, that's vocal about it. Who knows how many who's not been vocal about it. So as far as things goes, um, this is a known problem. It's, been, it's known for quite some time now. And unfortunately, AVAS, I've contacted them personally, and I haven't heard anything back. And it's been a while. 
in other people's reports in problem, other people's report problems where AVS is reporting back, hey, we can't recreate this problem or whatever it may be, which is all BS into itself. So as I said, how this system works is once you start it, it starts filling up. It, after it gets to the point, it starts filling up all the free space with junk information, which is kind of a needed thing. But the problem is, is if you cancel it early or like the power out, it goes out or something like that. So, so it stops early for one reason or another. It keeps the files there. What should happen is it should see all the files that because it has to be earmarked and that this is the naming scheme is basically how it earmarks all this stuff so basically it has to go through it anyways and delete all the stuff so what it should have done is once you press cancel it would just delete all the stuff so it take a little bit longer but it will delete it maybe give you a prompt saying hey it's removing this stuff so you know whatever um and also if it detects that it, it, the the program was shut down uh, like through a power outage or something like that and, you know just unexpected shutdown of this task it, w which is easy all it can do is say that if task is done um, then then change a given number to you know one and and if task was canceled it and we're able to completely get rid of the stuff then change the number to one but if neither is a the case, then change the number, just keep the number up, whatever. So if we take a look at that given number, just a little, you know, something where the program can take a look at it and say, okay, the, there's still a bunch of crap on here, or we think there's a bunch of crap on there. So we'll just scan it real quick and just say, okay, everything on here that uh, with, with this, we can alert the person to say, we think there's, you know, stuff from a previous task the task wasn't able to shut down or something like that and it will just take remove it it's that simple this is what should have been in their program to start with because the fact of the matter is is it is unreasonable to think that someone's going to sit there for even a two three day experience of having this thing run all the time all through the two three day experience it's completely unreasonable it's completely unreasonable to see someone's going to sit there for 12 hours with the thing running yes you can do things on the background and but the fact of the matter is is some people do shut down their computer when they're not using it so it is highly unreasonable so with that one in mind they should have had it where where it it just doesn't do that. It, it, it basically gets rid of this stuff um, as soon as it can so you don't run into this given problem. So you don't, when you go ahead and try to download a game or whatever, you don't have error messages saying, hey, you're run out of memory. So that's something that, that should have happened. I think AVAS has massively dropped the ball on this one, unfortunately. And, um, and with that one in mind, I might start looking for a um, another program. Uh, another overall company to deal with. Um, now, I've been dealing with Avas for years and years and years, but there is no loyalty. That's the fact of the matter. As as a consumer, you cannot be loyal to a given company; otherwise, they can screw you over nine ways a Sunday type of thing. So you got to be able to switch. And um, yeah, I'd still probably be with them, but I'm be taking a look around to see if there's a better option. If there is, then you know, then I, then I switch. Whereas before, there might have been a better option, but I just had no reason to look. So as far as that goes, that's something to know. And if you're running a business, that's something to know. And if you're at AVAS or know someone at AVAS, send this to them. And that's also something to note. Because a lot of people, they can see my past videos for a number of years now. I've been using AVAS and, you know, just these small things can cause you to lose mass amount of customers because there is no brand loyalty. Because the brand's not loyal to person in the first place so if you want to screw the person then guess what the person can screw you back so with that one in mind um if this uh if, if this video has helped you out and you learned something off of it then feel free to do what needs to be done down below leave a like and whatnot but i'll see you next video hope you have a great day